Hello everyone! Uh, today's video is for the June Polish Gamers Box. If you are unfamiliar, Polish Gamers Box is a monthly collaboration box between several indie brands. Um, I will have all of the important information linked down below in the description box as well as on my blog post on NicoleLivesNails.com. Polish Gamers Box opens on June 15th at 12 p.m. Mountain Time. Again, all that information will be linked down below. Let's just get into this one. First up, we have 1422 Designs with the She Shed. This one is inspired by the She Shed that Bonnie's eight-year-old always builds for her in the game, and is described as a black jelly polish with purple to blue micro flakies, green to gold to orange to pink shifting flakies, and silver flecks. It's priced at $12 for 15 ml and has a cap of 50 bottles. So the She Shed had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin, and it applied very nicely. The flakies also all spread out evenly and easily on their own and they do not give off much texture. Um, in the notes for this polish, Bonnie did mention how this one might not get perfectly opaque in two to three coats. So you can definitely layer this one over black to give it more opacity. I thought this looked absolutely amazing over black, but I also really liked it on its own mattified. So in um, three coats, I did have some pretty obvious visible nail line, but you all know I don't mind that kind of thing. Nothing in here dried down textured or will be overly difficult to remove. Next up, we have Color Spectrum Polish with, ah, fireballs! This one is inspired by The Ghast, and it's described as a white crelate with red hollow square glitters, red square glitters, black square glitters, red hollow glitters, gold aurora shimmer, and gold glitters. It's priced at $11 for 13 ml and has a cap of 50 bottles. This one had a fantastic formula. Um, surprise, surprise. Um, it didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. Um, I found this one to be very opaque. I think shorter nails would definitely be good in two coats. I actually think I was actually pretty good in two coats. I just wanted more glitter. I had like a tiny, tiny bit of light spots towards my tips which could have been due to poor application. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was absolutely fantastic. I didn't know I wanted a black and red glittered white Crelly in my life, but I just love this one. And I thought the um, Aurora Shimmer looked really beautiful. It was, ve it was very subtle in this space. Like the glitters are definitely like the star of the show. And then you get like little twinkles from the Aurora Shimmer. Um, nothing in here actually dried down super textured. Removal is going to be on the tricky side from all of those glitters. Next up, we have My Indie Polish with Creep This. The inspiration behind this one is playing with um, Tanya's, Tanya playing with her eight-year-old son. She still doesn't get the game, but he does. This one is described as an a wasabi green cream with black and white gray glitters. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. Creep This had a fantastic formula. You all know I love me a good glitter crelly, and this is such a good glitter crelly. So the glitters all spread out evenly and easily on their own. I found that the larger white squares were more sparse on the nail. You'll get only a couple of those out for each nail. I did hold my bottle upside down for this one between coats, but I did not try seeing to see if that actually did anything. Um, I don't really think it made a difference either way but I just thought this one was absolutely fantastic. Um, this will be a two to three coater depending on your application. My Live Swatch nail definitely needed that third coat, but my other nails were actually good in two. This dries down fairly textured. You, if you want it to be perfectly smooth, you're going to want to go in for two coats of top coat. I used two coats of top coat for this one and removal will be on the tricky side due to all of those glitters. Next up, we have Nevermind Polish with The Ender Times. This one is inspired by Enderman, and it's described as a black polish with a subtle purple shimmer and purple and silver square glitters. It's priced at $11.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. So as someone who has very limited experience with Minecraft, I must say I am very much enjoying having all of these polishes with square glitters in them. Like I thought that was super, super fun. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. So this one had a great formula, not too thick or too thin. Um, in the bottle, honestly, this looks like a very dark purple. That purple shimmer is super strong in this base. 
Once you get it on the nail, you can definitely tell that it's a, it's a black polish with purple shimmer. But in the bottle, I honestly thought this one was a purple. So this one, um, the glitters are fairly textured, but they spread out very evenly and easily on their own. The base does apply a little uneven at first, but it builds up really nicely in three coats. You can also use this one as a topper. I used it as it over um, a navy and I thought that looked really cool. I kind of bumped my nail so there's a, a bald spot. <laughs> so this does dry down pretty textured. You're going to want to go in for two coats of top coat to completely smooth it out. It is also very holographic. I forgot to mention that it's super, super holographic. It is going to be difficult to remove due to all of those glitters. Next up, we have Red Eyed Lacquer with Creepers, Endermen, and Dungeons. Oh my! This one is inspired by Dungeons and is described as a bright purple Crelly with a strong red to pink to orange shifting shimmer. It's priced at $12.50 for 12 ml and has a cap of 150 bottles. Sorry that first swatch uh, was so messy. Uh, stormy hair and I really didn't want to have to redo it. <laughs> So this had a really great formula, even though I had to take a pause to clean the cat hair off, I didn't actually have any issues with application. This was absolutely phenomenal. This applied wonderfully smooth and self-leveled perfectly. Even though I kept messing up the swatch, it still looked absolutely amazing. So I think this one is going to be opaque in two coats on pretty much everyone. Uh, if you mess up your application, you might just need three. <laughs> So this, in person, this is like a medium brightish purple. I would dare even call it orchid. And the shimmer is super, super strong. You can see here, I'm sitting underneath of my floor lamp and you could really see the shimmer pop. It's so beautiful. So no issues with staining or anything like that. Removal will be easy. And the final polish I have to share is by Swamp Gloss. And this one is called Me and My Pig. <laughs> this is inspired by Steve and a pig. It's described as a vibrant turquoise with a shimmer that shifts violet to pink to gold to green. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. Me and my pig had a fantastic formula, not too thick or too thin, and I did not have any application issues. This one is on the more sheer side, so you're definitely going to want to build this one up. It is very color shifty in person. I feel like I didn't really get to show the color shift perfectly in my swatch photos, but in my live swatch, I'll show coming up next um, just how color shifty this one is. It's really beautiful. I was seeing all of the colors in person. I will note to get that nice turquoise color that you see in the bottle, you are going to want to go in for those three coats. Your nail line will be visible in three coats, so I would recommend either wearing a blurring base coat if that bothers you, or even wearing a nude cream under this one. But nothing in here dry down textured or will be difficult to remove, and I did not experience any staining. And that is everything. Um, so Polish Gamers Box opens June 15th at 12 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I think. Um, again, all that information will be down below, as well as a link to polishgamersbox.com as well as links to their Facebook group, Instagram, all the things, and as well as link to my blog post. Um, just in case anyone's wondering, face videos will be back uh, probably towards the end of this week or next week. I'm having a pretty bad breakout and I just did not want that floating around the internet. I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye!